What's happening, sports fans? Welcome back to another episode with Mom and Papa Joe. We're moving into the 4th of July holiday week. Uh, today's video is not going to be so much a how-to video. We simply want to give you guys some awesome ideas to make your 4th of July barbecue the best. Let's get into it. So on the menu today, man, we've got something special, something different. Uh, it's just mom and I as usual. We've got some basic uh, chicken wings. And then the star of the show. I just picked this up a few days ago. Still have not looked at it. I don't know what it looks like. Ooh. Let's take a look at this. This is a pork belly that still has the ribs attached. Uh, not something you see very often. This was definitely a special order. I'm going to get this to the sink, get it rinsed off along with these wings, and we shall be right back. All right. Oh, this thing is massive. Let's break it down into something uh, that mom and I can handle. I think we'll be able to get so many three, four, five cooks out of this one belly. Our last bone is here, so I definitely want to stop and slice right here. And as we come back, I want to knock this off even. Get rid of this little skirt. And you know these trimmings are not going to waste, folks. Wow, that is beautiful. I think I'm going to end up cooking, I don't know, maybe four bones today. One, two, three, four, or maybe five. I think five will do us. So right about here. So we're going to cook six bones. We're going to cook that larger piece and just some minor cleanup. Should I get rid of this fat cap? Hmm. I'm going to thin it out. And I'm just going to round off my edges as usual. <laughs> so I think we'll call this good, folks. I love the way uh, this looks. I didn't totally remove it, but I really thinned it out to where I can see that nice pink flesh. I'm also going to leave the membrane on. I think it's going to keep this uh, intact. It's going to be a bit of a longer cook. Uh, let's get to seasoning. Here are seasonings today. I just did some uh, baby backs with this uh, sasson, this competition sasson. The color was beautiful. The taste was just awesome. So I'm going to run it again today with some 16 mesh black pepper. Still got a little moisture on these ribs. Not going to use a binder. I want a nice healthy coat. Want to make sure I hit those sides. Come back with that sasson. Again, nice healthy coat. Thick piece of meat. Don't be afraid. Let's give this a flip. Come back with that sasson. Again, nice, healthy. All right, we're going to head outside. We're going to get our Traeger preheated. I like the way this looks. Kind of look like a rack of dino ribs. Let's head outside. All right, our Timberline XL is preheated to 275. Look at that beautiful shine, man. That belly looks great. Iron out any fingerprints. I'm going to be lazy today. A little grease catch. We're going to come back out here uh, in a couple of hours to see what's going on. All right, two hour mark. Let's take a quick peek. Oh, man, this is looking great in two hours. Mm, mm, mm. Not going to do anything just yet. Come back, maybe rotate. Those bones are starting to pull back. But this is looking great. So we'll let this go uh, maybe another two hours, hour and a half to two hours. Then we'll come back and see uh, if it's time to do some butcher papering. All right, folks, we are at four and a half hours. 
And I think we've got that color, man. That color is awesome. We've got some of Mama's beans on here that are cooking, getting some nice smoke to them. I'm going to be using this oil that's in here to wet down my butcher paper. You know, that's my M.O. Folks, I haven't done any spritzing or anything. So that same oil you just saw, just going to wet down butcher paper a little bit. Makes it easy to fold. And I'm back. Meet up. And we're going to go right back onto the pit. I'm going to crank up to 300. And I'm thinking maybe another hour and a half to two hours or so. I'm going to throw some corn on this 850, and I'm running it at 400. I'm going to give this uh, maybe 20 minutes, half an hour to cook, and then I'm going to place them on the very edge to try to get a little char. I'm trying to time this cook so that everything finish uh, alongside that pork belly. Probably won't work. <laughs> All right, let's get this corn off of here, and we're going to drop the chicken. Pretty nice on these edges. This chicken is going to take about 50 to 55 minutes at 400 degrees. All right, we've let our corn cool down a little bit. Let's get started on this Mexican street corn, elotes. I mean, I love the smell of charred corn. Mm -hmm. All right, this should do us right here. This treat corn can be eaten hot or cold. Two tablespoons of mayonnaise, two tablespoons of butter, a squeeze of lime, maybe a good tablespoon. Pinch of salt, and the star of this elotes, this Mexican street corn seasoning. I'm not sure how much I'm gonna use, but I'm gonna start with two tablespoons. Cotija cheese. As much or as little as you want. Some cilantro. If you wanted it wetter, you could add some more. Mayo. It's on point. Good to go. All right, folks. We are right under seven hours. And I think we're where we need to be, man. 204, 205. And it probes nicely. 206. I'm just going to open this up right here on this tray. I've got some blues hog that I'm going to put on it. Oh, nice pullback. Little blues hog. Sun is going down, so it's kind of bright out here. I don't know what kind of color we're looking like, but man, this is beautiful. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're just going down for about another five, ten minutes max. All right, we've given this ten minutes. Let's get her inside and a short rest. Oh. <laughs> All right, folks, we've given this a few minutes, man, and that looks great. My end bone fell out, so I'm just going to start right here. And see what we've got. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, folks, <laughs> I don't even need a knife, man. Wow. Mm, 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 mm. Not squeezing, not doing anything. That blue hog is a great compliment. I know you're ready, Mama. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so you can see how large these ribs are, man. I think we're only going to cut one for mom and I. All right, but let's give it a shot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look, this is nicely rendered. Nicely rendered. Nice little ring. This is three quarters of a pound to a pound right here. Mm. And it's still pretty hot. Oh, ah. <laughs> I, I think we may end up treating some of the neighbors, folks. This is a lot of meat. I don't even know if I'm going to put a platter together, folks. I'm ready to eat. Yeah, me too. I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to show you what we have. Yeah. Oh. So, folks, mom and I are too lazy. We're not going to plate, man. We're just going to dish up what we want and sit down. But this looks and smells amazing. As usual, folks, we want to thank you guys and gals for hanging out with Mom and Papa Joe. We absolutely appreciate it. 
be on the lookout for another video coming very soon. In the meantime, we want you guys to take care of yourselves. Have a great 4th of July. And mom and I are going to see you when we see you. Holla.